Washington morning. For Matt Verker, no one is untouchable. He's an editorial cartoonist for Politico, an online publication known for closely watching the political life of the Capitol, Congress, media, lobbying, and the presidency. I was lucky in that I grew up in Los Angeles in the 1960s and 70s, and Paul Conrad was the cartoonist at the Los Angeles Times. And to have somebody like Paul Conrad be my role model. Perhaps the thing he's most famous for besides winning three Pulitzer Prizes is that Conrad was the only cartoonist to make Nixon's enemies list. In the 1960s with all the political turmoil and stuff that was going on, for a high school kid like me to sit there and look at this guy and go, wow, he sits there and he draws these funny cartoons, he puts them in the newspaper, and he's the enemy of the President of the United States? That's a pretty cool job. How do you get that job? Now Verker himself is a Pulitzer Prize winner. He draws the editorial column in a style that he describes as funny, incisive, and without shouting. This is an example of one that started with just the visual, where I was thinking, oh, this is when Mubarak was, was getting toppled. And I thought, oh, I can do something with the Sphinx. Later, it's like, oh, I'll put Uncle Sam riding him like a horse, which is sort of symbolic of the relationship that, they, that the U.S. had with Mubarak. And then the line comes later. And this cartoon is from the night of the presidential election, a night he calls a nightmare for cartoonists. I don't know what other newsrooms are like, but at Politico, everybody was shocked. We all, the smartest journalists in the world, we were all convinced we knew exactly what was going to happen. And um, surprise, surprise, I had spent weeks trying to figure out what I was going to do on the historic night when we first elected a woman president. And uh, I had a decent idea using a boxing metaphor with Hillary in a boxing ring, and she's standing over Trump, and, uh, and I sketched it out, and about 8.30, 9 o'clock at night, I realized I had to come up with a different idea, and uh, so I, uh, I had to switch gears entirely. The cartoon ended up being Donald Trump as the little shop of horrors, the carnivorous plant that eats everything around it, and declaring to Washington, good morning, America. Regardless of what kind of morning it is, Verker still sits down every day and picks up a pencil. A variety of topics, acute problems, and current events take shape with his sharp lines. But it seems for the next four years, he will never have cartoonists block. I think a lot of American politicians, the smart ones, understand that um, political humor is just part of politics. And, uh, and they embrace it and have some, some ability to laugh at themselves. I do not think that Donald Trump is going to, although he would be smart, it would be a really brilliant move on his part if he uh, invited the political cartoonist to the White House and had us all sit there and draw him and demonstrate that he could laugh at himself, because he doesn't do that much. Verker's cartoons have a long history dating back to Jimmy Carter. Since then, his world has been consumed by politics, so much so that he says his best ideas come in his sleep. For Anusha Vetisian, I'm Joy Wagner, VOA News, Washington.